Texas. Yeah, Brie, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon. Now, slightly cooler compared to what we saw the past few days, but really nice and comfortable, especially if you can spend some time in the afternoon out in the sunshine. This morning, chilly enough that you want some layers on as you send the kids out the door. Currently sitting at about 28 degrees in the springs. Upper 20s for Canyon City to Monument. Low 20s on the map in Woodland Park. 31 for our friends up in Denver. Now we are tracking a few weaker waves that'll move across the region over the next 24 to 48 hours. The first one generally going to favor the mountaineers with a little bit of light snow. Most of that breaking up from yesterday, but we are seeing another wave right now across parts of Utah and Arizona. This will swing south of Colorado today, but could bring some light snow to the southern Sangres as well as the Continental Divide and then perhaps a more potent system as we look ahead towards the very end of the week. So let's show you the short term here with Futurecast. Notice the spin once I put this into motion. This is that little open wave over Arizona where we are seeing some rain and snow that will continue to spread east towards parts of New Mexico. And then you can see with that southwest flow and some mid level moisture that should be enough to squeeze out some snow up across the high country, including here in the southern Sangres where we could pick up a quick inch or two of accumulation before things wrap up later this evening for the dog walk forecast looking pretty good on this Tuesday, right? You want some layers early in the morning for you and the pup nice and mild by noon and three o'clock with temperatures warming into the upper 40s today here in the Pikes Peak region. So even though we have this broad trough of low pressure in place, southwest flow keeping us seasonably mild for the next few afternoons. Then it's that next system currently in the central Pacific that I just showed you. That's going to bring in some cooler air and a chance for some unsettled conditions as you make our way towards Thursday night and Friday morning. Doesn't look like it's a significant system at this point, but there could be enough moisture and instability to bring at least some light snow to some areas as we head towards the end of the week. All right, highs today with generally dry skies, 48 in the Springs, 43 in Monument, 49 for La Junta, 51 in Canyon City and Pueblo. As we look ahead of that super seven day forecast, how's this for consistency? 40s all the way through the start of the weekend with that slight dip in temperatures on Friday and maybe a few morning snow showers. At this point, accumulations look very light here in the springs, expected to stay under an inch. For Pueblo, also expecting maybe a light round of rain to snow showers from Thursday night to Friday morning. Temperatures briefly down to the 40s from Friday to Saturday, but look at next Monday. I know it's a Monday we go back to work and school, but weather will be really nice by then, up near 60 degrees. For Canyon City, we have lower 50s through Thursday. Not a ton of action over the next seven days. A quick burst of rain or snow showers possible Thursday night into Friday morning. That looks to be about it. A similar story for Woodland Park with some late week unsettled weather, sunshine and chilly highs on Saturday with warmer temperatures into early next week.